Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on a new project, which is called Draw Your GAN. Now, Draw Your GAN is an interactive point-based manipulation on the generative image manifold. Now, this is a research paper that focuses on addressing the challenge of controllability in deep generative models. Now, this is specifically towards the generative adversarial networks, which is the description of GAN. Now, GANs have been demonstrated to be remarkably successful in generating realistic images as well as the ability to control and manipulate synthesized visual content, which remains a crucial requirement in real world applications. Now, what this actual paper tends to highlight is that there's various different scenarios where controllability is desired, such as adjusting the position as well as shapes and expressions, as well as body poses of a human or an animal, which we can see in this example here. You're able to play around with different things that will tweak the image around. And this is something that we're gonna be showcasing in today's video, guys. So before we actually get into that, today we're going to be highlighting the code which will be released very shortly in June. We're going to talk a little bit more about what GAN is by going through the research paper and going a little bit more in depth as to what they're trying to accomplish as well as taking a look at what you can actually do with this overall feature of GAN. Now with that thought guys, if you guys haven't followed my Twitter page, please do so. There's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from as I'm going to be posting a lot of AI news as well as a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so definitely give it a follow and I'll leave the link in the description below now if you guys haven't subscribed please do so guys turn on notification bell like this video and comment anything you want to see in the future and with that thought let's get right into the video now as we talked about it's an interactive point-based manipulation on the actual visual front now what this means as well as how it tends to do this is by meeting the diverse users needs and that is by creating an ideal controllable image synthesizer and this is an approach that basically possesses three key com components which are properties of flexibility precision and generality now firstly flexibility refers to the capability of controlling different spatial attributes including positions poses shapes as well as expressions and this is something that we can see from this cat example you're able to tweak around with different things as well as the shape of a cat by having these two shapes or these two pointers and you're able to basically change the whole pose of this whole cat now this is one of its spatial attributes and this basically means that the method should allow users to basically manipulate various aspects of what is happening in an image by synthesizing it the contents of it according to the specific requirements that we can see from these pointers you're able to express different things and this is like basically another way of using photoshop using ai and you can do certain things by manipulating a facial expression of a cat you're able to change his head display as well as play around with the nose and different things like this and we saw this at the start of the video where we see that you're able to play around with how the actual pose is of the cat and i'm going to be showing you a couple examples of other things that you can do shortly a second uh priority is its precision feature and this is essential for fine graining control over spatial attributes now users should be able to precisely adjust the desired characteristics without sacrificing the quality and this is something that we can see you're able to have zero blur or any type of modifications to the actual image obviously you're going to see certain spatial attributes being tweaked around with but you're not going to be able to get lower grained images with the different changes that you make with this application and this is one of the amazing features about GAN now you're not able to sacrifice on the quality or the coherence of generative images now this is due to basically because of its high precision that ensures the modifications are accurately reflecting the intended changes of what you desire and this enables you to actually achieve your desired outcome from the pointers that you give it and the code actually is going to be released very shortly guys in june as i mentioned at the start of the video they're currently still in the process of it it's just they really highlighted it on Twitter recently and they posted their blog as to what they're trying to basically launch for this project these are some of the contributors of this and we're going to be looking a little bit more as to some of the features of it later on now lastly let us talk about the generative uh, aspect of the controllable images and this approach basically means that you're able to focus on different object categories and it's not limited to a specific type of subject basically this means that the method shouldn't have the capability to like focus on different types of aspects 
you're able to focus on animals objects human expressions and a lot of different things which is one of the amazing things about this feature as well as some of the things that it tends to prioritize we can see in this you're able to even create a smile from this which is absolutely amazing guys and this is one way that we're seeing ai being developed as well as how it's becoming so much more revolutionary applicable in a lot of different use cases so it's great to see things like this be released and launch now the proposed methods while well, we talked about while previous works in this field have made progress in achieving one of these two properties what the researchers are actually aim to do is fulfill all three in their research and this is something that we are able to see within these review docs as well as these video demos they proposed a novel approach by enabling all interactive point based manipulation on generative image manifolds and this is by incorporating all three prior pro properties that we talked about and this is by introducing an intuitive user interface as well as allowing users to directly manipulate specific points in an image by an easy tool of a pointer and this is something that we're going to be talking about later on in the video now let's actually take a look at some of the actual figures as well as the research paper to get a better idea of how it functions now if you can see in figure number two which is over here let's take a look at the overall pipeline as to how this operates so in this figure we're able to see that it provides an overview of the pipeline of how GAN is operatable. Now, the pipeline allows users to easily manipulate GAN generative images by setting a few handle points. And these are some of the things that we talked about at the beginning in the videos. And we've seen this with different images as well. Uh, also, another thing is you can even do this with humans. You're able to even extend clothes. You, if you see a car, you're able to transform the car into something else, which is actually kind of remarkable. What you can do with AI, guys, this is absolutely insane. You're able to play around with the microscope different landscapes and these are all different uh, demos that you will be able to see on their blog post so i highly recommend that you check it out the code will be uploaded on the repo on github so this is going to be released in june so once that is uploaded i'll definitely highlight it on my twitter so definitely keep an eye out for that but we can see that the actual handle keys that are set in the image are the represented by the red dots and the target points are the ones that adjust the image to a certain area which we can see in this image right here that it's able to optimize based off of the blue points and we can see that the line turns its head based off of that representative blue dot and uh, you're also optionally able to use a mask indicator which is an editing region which we see over here that the circle which focuses on an area as well as this yellow circle now this approach involves two main steps which is its most motion like supervision as well as its point tracking now in the motion supervision step the handle points are basically guided to move towards the target areas which you can see over here and this basically helps in achieving the desired modifications in an image and what we talked about at the start is it doesn't suffer as well as it doesn't make an effect on the actual blurness over the quality of an image which is one remarkable feature of this application now the point tracking step then updates the handle points and the to track the actual object within the image and this is an iteration process that continues until the handle points align itself with the actual corresponding points that you gave it at the start so this basically allows and makes sure that there is precise control over the image manipulation and this is the pipeline of how it actually operates and this is one amazing feature too guys you're able to generate different things that would best fit a line you can see that it adds the teeth as well as like the tongue and everything that a line would have as you're able to control as well as modify it using the new tracking points and this is the basic overview of its pipeline feature now guys i just want to focus on some of the different types of manipulation to the image you can also focus on you're able to extend people's clothings you're able to figure out and change people's poses you're able to change the background the car itself change where the sun is being displayed the lighting focus on movements expressions and this is just a start as to what they've done guys this is quite remarkable as to what they've actually accomplished with this research paper and their actual tool will be released very shortly with the code in june and 
definitely when it is released we're going to be making a video on how you can actually play around with it as this is a very valuable tool that could be basically taking over photoshop in a way as well as illustrator because you're able to do the same things obviously it's just a simple tool that does a lot of the masking as well as the display tools and, and editing tools that photoshop would do but it's a great start to see something like this in the ai world now in this figure this showcases a real image manipulation using the proposed method now this process begins with the real image that you input into the system and it, it undergoes the gan inversion to map it out into the latest latent space of style gan now once it is in the latent space the image can then be edited and modified towards different attributes you can focus on the pose the hair the shape or the, as well as the expression and these modification attributes consist of the things that i talked about as well as demonstrating that you're able to approach the manipulation in real images by using the power of gan to even focus on different outputs that could even focus on your clothing which we talked about very sh like right previously in this video and this is obviously due to the power of GANs as well as the latent space manipulation. You're able to do this even with different things like a tiger and you're able to even focus on different expressions. And they're also going to be working on focusing on different expression types as well as inputting different types of things that could help you with better generative images by using the tool of GAN. And in summary guys, this is an amazing project that is going to present an innovative approach to address the challenge of controllability in deep generative models. Now, by combining the power of GANs with an interactive point-based manipulation interface, we're going to see methods that offer users a flexibility as well as giving you precision and, is, and giving you the generality that is required to effectively control and modify synthesize visual contents. So I definitely see this becoming a very innovative tool that could even replace Photoshop in the future as it's a great tool that can help you as well as help you achieve a lot of different things in generating different types of images as well as editing it. So I hope you found this video quite informative and you got something out of it. I'll definitely leave all the links in the description below so you can actually take a look at it yourself. So with that thought guys, make sure you please follow this Twitter account, subscribe, like this video as it would mean the whole world to me and comment anything you want to see in the future guys. It would mean the whole world to me. And with that thought guys, thank you so much for taking the time to spend your to actually watch these videos if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos please do so as there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from and with that thought have an amazing day have a positive smile and i'll catch you guys very shortly peace out fellas